All right, on to our next question in the Stronger Power of the Classic Project. <laughs> empowerment. What does empowerment mean to you and where do you get it from? Like, what are you empowered by? Um, empowerment to me is, is really drawing strength from somewhere. Mm -hmm. it's, it's drawing some, there's something outside of you. It's like, what's your why? It's just it's, it's something that's just pushing you. But as far as me, um, as far, for me, and I'm empowered by the my mission to leave a legacy. Mm. My, my company um, slogan is, build your brand, start a legacy. Um, and it's, it's really about leaving something for those after you. Okay. You know, a lot of times we get so engrossed in, you know, just having our logo on stuff and just being known and me, 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 and I, I, I. But really creating something that those behind us can pick up and you know, and they can continue on. Beautiful. I um, mean, that can be uh, civil service. That can be wh whatever, wh whatever you want it to be. It can be starting a business, but having something for those after you. You know, mm. and not just thinking about yourself because our youth that they they are the future. It sounds cliche, but they are the future. They are. You know what I mean? So you can do it with your business. You can do it with your organization. You can do it with your service. But somehow leave something for those behind you, and not just your children. A lot of times people think about their families. Right. But outside of your nuclear family, there's other people out here that needs you. They need your service. They need. They they need whatever you have, whatever God gave you. Exactly. About leaving a legacy. Yes. So your mission keeps you moving. Yes, I'm empowered by leaving a legacy and inspiring others too. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when people think of a business concept, they just think about this this business plan and all the like I said, logos and websites. Yeah. But it's about more than that because once you actually develop a brand, you want it to be a legacy yeah. of yours. Even if your you decide footprint. to, you know, um, to start something else, or if you leave that business behind, you want that to be imprinted in the hearts of people for mm. a particular reason. Think of you, think of what your mission was. Right. What are you leaving on this earth? What are you doing? Who are you inspiring? Ooh. That's, that's, that's important. We do get caught up in money, because we feel like we need to pay our bills, and when it's <laughs> true, but when you get down to the moments in life, you're using that money to have fun, to right. enjoy you your family. You can't family. take it with you. Yeah, you can't you take can't. it with you. You cannot. You cannot. So it's about giving and leaving a legacy. Yes. I love it. All right. Living and giving. Living and giving. There it is. <laughs> now, on to class. We, I, I can, I can sit about right. We do what I can. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, what do you consider being classy? And are you classy? Do you think I you're classy? I am classy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of people they uh, misconstrue. They they'll call a woman a diva. Mm. I don't really I don't particularly care for that term. I, I know it's a, a yeah. term of endearment, but a lot of people they think of divas when they think. But it, it's not necessarily that being classy is just holding yourself in a certain regard. Hey, you know, and standard. having you know, having respect for yourself. Exactly. I think essentially, that's that's the basic is just having respect for yourself. Mm, I love it. So you there's not it's not clothes. It's not the brand of anything. It's about how you carry yourself. Mm. You know, you can't buy class. Like what does that Jay Z? Can't buy class. Can't buy class. Can't buy <laughs> so how important is it to be classy in what you do in your career? It's extremely important. It's, it's vitally important, especially with my business. Everybody that knows me knows anything I touch. I'm very hands-on, and I'm, I, I like things to be polished, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that comes that derives from being, you know, a classy person, you could say. Hey. You know, I just I don't work with any just anyone. I don't attach myself to just to any projects because I, I carry myself with a certain regard, and I, I make sure that those I surround myself with do as well. Hey, and I appreciate that because I'm surrounding <laughs> you right now. <laughs> I See, love it. We set a standard, and you gotta yes. look up to it. And, and young girls, they look up to you. They, they look at. You. They may not say it, but they look at they you. They are watching. And you have a, actually peers too. Mm -hmm. I found that there's women who are older than me that will send me a message and say, you know, I really love how you carry yourself. I love how you do this. You do this with such grace. Yeah. And that, that's another word too that I that I love. I would like to hear us use more grace. You know, grace. people they use the negative words to describe uh, women and how they carry themselves, but mm -hmm. you know, Be grace and class. That's very important. Yeah, it's good to keep it in your spectrum like your head space yeah, definitely. Because and on your body language everything because sometimes you can be giving off something else totally different and you don't and you know be conscious of right. it you know? so but when you have it inside it, it comes out when it's shining your light yes. shining your light from the inside <laughs> out i love it so strength empowerment and class we are strong empowered and yes. classy over here so we're gonna um, move on to what you do now and where you see yourself now are you proud of where you are now I'm extremely proud of where I am now. And I, I, there's a time where I couldn't say that. Mm. I am. Because yeah, I'm a work in progress, but I'm just really happy. I've I had my company for four years, and I've made a lot of progress. But one reason I'm extremely happy about where I am now is because my identity is not tied in what I do. Ooh. Because I've always excelled at, you know, academically, and, you know, and my, with my company, I did well the first few years. Um, 
but that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that was the biggest epiphany I've ever had, wow. <laughs> you know, is realizing that you are not what you do. And even if you don't, even if you don't succeed at whatever you decide to do, it's okay. You can yeah. pick up the, you know, the ball and keep rolling. Yeah. So, um, for me, I am, I'm extremely happy where I am now. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's great to see that you are proud of yourself and where you are now and you're open to see what's next yes. and you see yourself as beyond your own brand. You're like, right. common denominator is me. Exactly. No matter what I'm doing, me. it's me. <laughs> right. Me. <laughs> so what is your message, your um, call to action to people? If you could speak to the masses, who, what would you say? You can make a difference right where you are with what you have. Mm. <laughs> you can make a difference wherever you are with what you have. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> that's powerful right there. It, I mean, that's, that's the title that's, of the book right it there. Is, it is. <laughs> you know, but it really speaks to me because I, like I said, I've always, you know, aspired to get to a certain place. You know, mm -hmm. it was a certain degree. It was a certain income level. It was a certain, you know, crowd. But I'm realizing I don't, I didn't need that. So, and, and the turkey shop is a great place to start. Turkey shop. You know, it's like you can start wherever you are with what you have, you know, and make a difference. Wonderful. So it's all about... Starting with what you have, going beyond your like your mental space. Look, right. You it might be beyond your means, but you can still do something. There's so many options out there, and that's part of the reason why I started my company is because I had resources. Resources. I was very resourceful. You know how to you, use them. Right. You might not have the money, but you might know somebody else that does, and they might want to donate, and you can use that to do something else. It's, there's so many different options. One. You know, it's like sometimes we have to get out our own way, and I learned that. That's why I'm, another reason why I'm happy where I am because I'm. I decided to get out my own way. Get out of your <laughs> own way. That is great. I'm so inspired right now from that. Get out of your own way. Because that is the struggle right there. Because we always say, well, I don't have this and that. Then our, right. our whole body just crunches down. And then all of a sudden, opportunities shut off because you can't see it. Right. And sometimes it's just mental. And yeah. I've learned that. You know, God told me, he's like, I got this. He's mm. like, you know, God, if, he, if, if it's in his will for you, he will make sure it, it comes to pass. You know, so you have to get out your own way. If you don't have the confidence to do it, you won't be, be successful. But as long as you say, hey. If he said he gave me the opportunity, I'm gonna make it happen. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's what it is. If God gave it to you, hey, he wants you to I, work it out. I'm a, Even if it doesn't feel right, something's right. wrong. God going. I'm a witness. I started my company. I had my my background is not in marketing or public um Beautiful. public relations, but I taught myself and I was presented with, constantly presented with different opportunities. And mm -hmm. look, I'm here now. So you know how to use your resources. Right. A lot of times, I know I've even had some things available, but I'm like, I don't even know what to do with this. Uh -huh. You got to know. And sometimes you got to walk into your season. Hey, it's just a jump. Yes. Walk into it and Preach everything it. just falls into place. Preach it. Ah. Preach. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So it's all about working with what you have. Yes. What's the title of that book again? Same book. A <laughs> hundred ways to make a difference with right where you are with what you have. When do you think it'll be out? By the end of this year, hopefully. Woo! Yeah. I'm excited. Doing some tweaking. So, yeah, I want to be at the book launch and everything. Oh, I want you there. I would love to have you because I really want to inspire the masses to just look at where they are and to, even if they don't have aspirations to give back, hopefully it inspires them to do so. And if we have people that want to give back and they're not sure how, hopefully that will give them some insight. Wonderful. So do you have anything else you want to plug or let us know anything, promote? If not, well, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay. Um, I, I host the Shark Tank Social. It's a networking oh, yes. social. So um, we're, we're working on that. Hopefully the next one will be for people that have products that they want to have trademarked. Come on, y'all. So be on the lookout for that. that show. That is awesome. <laughs> be on the lookout for that. You know, I'm all about supporting businesses and startups, you know, entrepreneurs and startups. So What days do you do that? Or it's, it's, it's a monthly set monthly um, okay. networking social. But it'll definitely be posted on the, uh, the social media, my website, official on East PR. Com. All right. <laughs> I'll be typing that down on the, on the screen. You'll see it. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, we have that in the book. And I've, I'll be in the community as usual. Hey. Just giving back and doing my thing. As usual, do your thing. <laughs> you know, Jane thing going to do her thing. Too. We're going to do our thing. <laughs> We're do our thing. <laughs> so glad that you let me come Thanks over here me. and talk to you because you are such an inspiration. I see everything you do. It's always so positive mm -hmm. and uplifting. I told you before. Let me know for some volunteer I opportunities. I'm I ready. hold people to it. <laughs> Look, they I, tell me that I hold them to it. <laughs> so you're going to call them. I'm, I'm like, call okay. You. On Christmas, <laughs> on Thanksgiving, I'm going to call them. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. So, um, yeah, thanks again. And no problem. so Thank glad. And um, this is me, Kristen Heyman. And I'm so glad that you guys are watching for Stronger Powder Classy Project. And here's our guest. And let us know what you, um, are you strong and powder classy again? Let us know. I am strong. I am empowered. And I'm classy. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Check us out again at jthayproductions.com. 
I'll see you guys later. Bye. show you what it's like every single day. Putting in the work, ain't no other way. Everything you see in your dreams can come true. You gotta understand that it all starts with you. Go, 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 go,